Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and I'm back with another Instant Inkscape lesson. Earlier, we did curved text upward. Now we're going to do curved text downward. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, before I start, check it out. I have got a neighbor that can, with a chainsaw, actually cut circular pieces off trees that I can use on the Glowforge. They are close to a half inch, but I'll show you the trick I use to get them in the Glowforge the way I want. And this is why I need curved above and curved under text. All right, friends, today we're gonna do this right, and I'm actually gonna measure, it is 13 centimeters across. So I've got that number for the curves that we're gonna make. All right, friends, I'm not gonna re-show you how I did the round. I'll put a link up here in the corner so that you guys can get to that video if you want. All right, friends, so let's build the one underneath super quick. Once again, we are going to click to start, and I'm going to put this closer than I need to so I don't have to deal with that guideline. I'm going to hold control and stretch it across, get to that 13 centimeter mark, and I'm going to click. If you move your mouse, just remember you can press enter so that it finishes. Get your node tool, make an extra node, select those three nodes, and do distribute. We're going to click on just that middle one. Make sure you have that. Hold control, and let's stretch it down the amount you want. And then we're going to turn on the auto smooth and the symmetrical. Hold control and stretch it out so it has the curve that you want. I'm going to go with that. And now it's time to add our second word. So I'm going to pick my font. I know that I want one called splash. So I'm going to do something different. I'm going to type SPL to actually search for it. That makes it a little faster. And let's do that 180 and see how big that is. That still doesn't look big enough. Let's try 250. That's going to be close. Select, and I'm going to hold down Shift and select my line. So I've got the two shapes selected. And once again, we're going to do Path and Put on Path. Notice that fits pretty well. I'm going to bring back that F8 key, and I'm going to try 230 just so it stands up a little better. So with it at a size 210, I'm going to use the spacing to push them apart. Let's see what happens if I try 10. Not bad. Let's try 20. Closer. Let's try 35. I can work with that. For what I'm making just for fun, this is going to be perfect. So remember, as you're editing, if you ever lose this toolbar, you can bring it back with the F8. When you're done, simply click on your text and do path, object to path. I want mine to be a quick cut, so I'm taking away the fill, and I'm going to right-click on the pink, and I'm going to set the stroke. So to make this project super fast on the Glowforge, it's only going to be a score. Because I've done that, I can now click on the line and delete. Click on the other line. Let's make sure I've actually got the line. I don't think I do. Nope, Control Z. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Remember, if you do Control and scroll in, you can see better where you're aiming. All right. And let's Control and scroll back. So I've got the word to it. I've got the word round, and we need one more letter before this little project is finished. And we put it in the middle. A, splash. We're going to make that size 220. It's not going to be round. It's just going to be in the middle. And then when this project's done, you'll have A round to it. So if you've got one of those children that are always procrastinating, this will be their perpetual round to it. So they can get around to it a little faster. Once again, we need to do path and object to path. And then when we're done, we're going to shut off the film. We are going to right click and do an outline. So set that stroke. And I am going to save this right to the Glowforge file. Save. And it's going to be called round to it. Let's hit save and bring it into the Glowforge app. Alrighty, friends, let's start with create and new blank design. As you can see, I've got my little cylinder of wood and I've got a block of wood. I've done the measurements and this is two millimeters taller than the normal bed. So I'm going to use uncertified. I'm going to put in my two millimeters and let it refocus. We need to upload that artwork. Remember, I started in my keychains folder. I'm going to just search by date modified today. That makes it easier to find it. And boom, here comes my round to it. So now that it's in the Glowforge, let's move it over to our piece of wood. 
I'm going to shrink it so it fits the way I want. That's pretty darn groovy. And let's turn on some settings. Like I said, I want this to be fast, so I'm going to do a score. And I'm going to use this one that says 12 millimeters, but I'm going to change it so that it's 2 millimeters, so it's the right height. I like that speed, the power, and this will be a quick, easy cut. Let me just show you this too. Even though it came in as one piece, we can pull those apart and put them where we want. So I'm gonna move that up a little bit and get it exactly where I want. I'm gonna take my to it and pull it down a little bit. And then I'm even gonna stretch the A so it's a little bit larger. So you can still play with these till you're happy. If we zoomed in, I could even pull these letters up and get them to a spot that I thought may be a little bit more cool. So you do have flexibility once you've got it built. Friends, we've got a design built. Let's go send it to the Glowforge. And of course, the best part of the day, let's hit that magic button. Hard to make something faster than that. Alrighty friends, so there you have it, your around to it and some curved under text. Super simple. Once you've got that F8 key to bring those back and do your kerning and all the cool things, it makes these projects so slick and so fast. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.